Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to root the Samsung Nexus S. Alright, before we begin, this will unlock your phone's bootloader, which allows us to flash recovery images and ROMs, etc. And this can be easily undone, unlike the Nexus 1. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to set up ADB, uh, which allows our phone to talk to our computer. So we're going to click on that. And you're going to do section 1. And by the time you're done with section 1, when you type ADB devices, a serial number should come up. Uh, make sure that you also download the ADB files and put them in the SDK, the tools folder, because the new SDKs don't come with it. Uh, if you don't get a serial number at the end of that, you can do section 2 to try to manually install them. Uh, and eventually you should get ADB devices and a serial number should pop up. Once that does, you can head back to our procedure and continue at section 3. Okay, so now we're going to turn off the phone. Okay, then we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume up and power until we get to fast boot mode up at the top, it should say. Okay, now with the phone in fast boot mode, we plug it in via USB cable. And then we're going to open a command prompt on our computer by going to the search box in the start menu and typing in CMD and hitting enter. Okay, now in the command prompt, we're going to type the following with hitting enter at the end of each line. Now, in, during the ADB procedure, you should have renamed your Android SDK folder to Android SDK, just to make life a little easier. And also make sure that there's not an extra Android SDK folder inside the Android SDK folder. Okay. And then we're going to type fastboot, OEM, unlock, and enter. At this point, something will pop up on your phone. Okay, after you type that, this will show up on your phone. You're going to use the volume key to select up to select yes and then hit power and it should go back to the screen and say lock state unlocked. The next thing we need to do now that we have an unlocked bootloader is flash a custom recovery image. So we're going to download the custom recovery image from Clockwork Mod by clicking on this link here and saving that to our computer. Okay, now we're going to take that recovery.img file and we're going to copy it we're going to go to our Android SDK and then inside the tools folder and we're going to just right click somewhere and hit paste so now the recovery.img file is in there and it should be in the same place as adb.exe and fastboot.exe okay now at this point after I've unlocked the bootloader I had to actually power off my phone unplug it power it back on into fast boot mode again by holding volume up and power plug the phone back in and then I was able to uh, recognize the phone again so you might have to do that as well but now we can continue the next step and we can type fast boot flash recovery recovery dot img and hit enter and once it says writing recovery ok we can go to the next step. Okay, so now once we flash the recovery image, we're going to scroll down to power off, turn off the phone, and then we're going to turn it back on normally. Okay, so now we're going to download the flashable zip file for super user, and we're going to save it to our computer. So click on that link there and save that. Okay, now you're going to plug your phone in. and you're going to mount the SD card so we can transfer files to it, or in this case it's the internal storage because there is no SD card. Okay, now once the internal storage is open on our computer, we can take the superuser.zip file and we're not going to extract it, we're just going to copy it over to the root of our internal storage, so it's just not in any of these folders, it's just on the internal storage itself. Okay, so after we transfer that file, we're just going to turn the phone off Wait for it to turn off. Okay, now we're going to turn the phone back on by holding down volume up and power to get back into fast boot mode. And this time we're going to scroll down with volume to recovery, Hit the power button to select it, and wait for the phone to boot into recovery. Okay, then once we're in recovery, we're going to go down to 
mounts and storage, mount system, go back, install zip from SD, choose it from SD, super user dot zip, yes. And wait for it to flash. Once it says install from SD card complete, let's go back, reboot system now, and wait for it to reboot. Okay, and then once the phone reboots, you should be able to scroll into your app drawer and see super user permission in there. If so, that means you're now rooted, you have a custom recovery image and an unlocked bootloader, you're good to go. Uh, optionally, you can load a custom ROM after this by going at the bottom of our procedure, clicking the link on how to load a custom ROM. Uh, and that'll take you to that, and you can continue from there. Enjoy.